Cave diving gone terribly wrong. Jenny Springs. Are you interested in listening to a horrifying story of a place called Jenny Springs? Well, the friends went on a vacation which turned into a tragedy. It seems to be nothing more than a gorgeous pond filled with clean water that runs into the Santa Fe River. After millions of years of water flowing underground, scuba divers from all over the world are drawn to explore the depths of the earth to see what they can find there. But it's more dangerous than you think. Welcome back to our channel, and it's time to talk about the eerie history of this stunning location. So if you're interested in learning more about the tragic past of Jenny Springs, keep watching. Because of its location in the rolling hills of northern Florida, not too far from the state line with Georgia, Jenny Springs is a long cry from the well-known tourist spots that can be found throughout the state of Florida. This area is home to hundreds of natural springs that feed into the massive and convoluted Florida Aquifer. The Florida Aquifer is the source of the bulk of the state's drinking water and is also known as the location of some of the best cave and cavern diving in the world. Cave diving is an extremely dangerous activity, and one must never forget to account for this dismal reality. I've lost 28 friends, says Skiles, who claims that the activity is excruciatingly dangerous. 28 divers have died at Jenny Springs since records began being kept. They all died after making the same fatal blunder, venturing too far into the network of tunnels that branch off from the spring. Accident statistics suggest that, overwhelmingly, divers perish in underwater caverns and caves for just three reasons. Lack of a properly used guideline, lack of sufficient reserve gas, and or diving beyond the safe operational limits of the breathing media used, states the Jenny Springs Outdoors website. Why do scuba divers always seem to mess up? There's a 90% mortality rate among divers who venture into natural overhead habitats without any cave or cavern diving training. By the way, if you're trying to decide between a cave dive and a cavern dive, know that the latter involves a dive in which the entrance is constantly in sight. The cave has gone so far in that you can no longer see the cave mouth from where you are. Faced with these sobering realities, I decided to go underwater, filming alongside Skiles and his three-person team of friends. The temperature of the water was a brisk 72 degrees Fahrenheit, requiring us to wear 4 millimeter thick wetsuits and a protective hood. I tagged along with Skiles as he led the way into the first cave. When the lights were turned on, the limestone room displayed its otherworldly beauty, while also revealing its many nooks and crannies. It was almost laughably clear as if there were no water there at all. The water of Jenny Springs is so clear that Jacques Cousteau famously declared, visibility forever. However, those who get anxious in tight spaces should avoid going. Your awareness of your confinement and the fact that, were it not for the light, you would be in near utter darkness is constant. We grabbed onto a permanent rope line and descended further into the cave. This area was larger and more natural in appearance. In a sense, it was as if we had made the trip to the center of the planet. Scuba divers exhaled air stuck to the cave ceiling, which was riddled with tiny holes and divots. These globules of mercury didn't seem anything like bubbles at all. What resulted was a mosaic that was both unusual and stunning. Skiles indicated a vast dark recess off to the side and led the way into it. As I came closer, I noticed that the opening was blocked by a set of vertical bars. Something softly pushed against me. That power grew more potent as I swam toward the tunnel's mouth. I had to work very hard to cover the final few yards before the grate. At last, I managed to grip the bars and hold on, swaying against the mighty wave. Water from Ginny Springs, at a rate of around 30 million gallons per day, is piped through this tunnel every day. I was like a banner being blown around by a hurricane. The experience was thrilling. That was the passageway all 28 victims had used to perish. The rule has been changed so that no one else will suffer the same fate. No one's died as a result of it since then. After being submerged for almost 40 minutes, it was time to come up for air. I turned around for a final view and got confused for a second. I was very lost and had no idea how to get out of there. I looked about for a few agonizing seconds, but none of the other divers I was with appeared. I eventually located a rope and snatched it up. The terrifying terror that could strike a lost cave diver gave me pause. We climbed out of the Ginny Springs Caves, leaving behind the stunning yet intimidating natural beauty. So that's it for today's video. We'll be back with more soon. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.